After more than 60 years, a World War II and Korean War veteran from northern New York's remains are beside his family in his final resting place. WPTV's Allison Carey has been covering the memorial services this week. She was in Malone for the burial service with full military honors today, and she joins us live with more. Allison. Stephanie, Pentagon officials say Lawrence Oliver Jock, originally of Fort Covington, New York, died in battle in July of 1953 when he was just 37 years old. Although only a few of his relatives are still with us, hundreds paid their respects this week. It's, it's still hard to believe. I'm glad, you know, that so many people turned out to honor him. More than 60 years after Master Sergeant Lawrence Jock was lost in battle in North Korea, his remains are home, lying beside his relatives in Malone, New York. Jock was a World War II and Korean War combat veteran. Although only a handful of his relatives are still with us, Hundreds of people took part in his services during the week. One of them, Judy Tebow, a military mom who sang at the burial ceremony. I have for years been so grateful for the service to every man and woman who have served our country. And for years, any time that I've been able to do my small part in honoring them by using my talent of my voice, I am just so thankful that they allow me to do that. The U.S. military actually has a division which is tasked with doing global research as well as laboratory testing to identify the remains of unaccounted for Americans. It was through that program that Mr. Jock was identified. His remains were some of those released by North Korea to the U.S. military in the early 90s. The day started with calling hours for the family at Spalding Funeral Home, followed by the burial service with full military honors. Jock's niece said she only wishes more of her family could have experienced it. They would have been ecstatic. They'd been really right off the wall, especially my father. He would have been so happy to see him and stuff, you know. In Malone, Allison Carey, WPTV, News Channel 5. JPAC is part of the U.S. Department of Defense. It stands for Joint POW and MIA Accounting Command, and it relentlessly works to identify the remains of unaccounted for Americans and then arranges for services with full military honors, even when those service members do not have any living relatives. I'm Allison Carey, WPTV News Channel 5.